Still no second stimulus check? Yeah, me either. It's frustrating, I know. Hey, Tim with Nomad Trading here. Typically, I talk about the stock market and trading and whatnot, um, but the stimulus video I made talking about why people have not got their second stimulus check um, got like 3,400 views in a couple days. So there's apparently a lot of you that are experiencing the same thing that I am. So I have talked to Tax Act, which is my tax prep people, the people that I use. I do my own taxes online been doing it with them for years so I talked to them a couple times today and got the skinny on what's what's kind of going on with most of you there are multiple reasons why you might not have your second stimulus check so we're gonna go over some of those reasons as well but the bulk of you are probably in the same boat that I'm in so we'll, we'll definitely be uh, touching on that in depth so let's jump over here in my computer and we'll talk about what exactly is going on and why you don't have your money yet Okay, I'll try to make this relatively quick and painless. If you've already gone to the irs.gov website, it's pretty likely, if you're in a similar situation to me, that you see this payment number one status, everything looks good, you already got your first stimulus check, and then payment number two status, not available. Uh, so if you're getting that situation there, you're probably in similar shoes to me. Um, there are multiple reasons, like I said, that you could be experiencing this but the bulk of people are probably in the same boat as me. So let's jump over here and we'll look at some of the uh, uh, reasons why you might not have received your second stimulus check just right off the bat, just to go through some of these things so you guys can kind of see some reasons why you may not have your check yet. A reason number one, you didn't file a 2019 tax return or it hasn't been processed yet. Yes, they are still processing, processing some returns. So there is a chance that your return hasn't been processed yet possibly, or you didn't file a 19 return. Um, that would be possibility number one. Uh, two, the check is literally in the mail. Okay, the check could be in the mail and it hasn't got there yet. I've seen a string of people in the comments who have uh, slowly but surely kind of updated that, hey, they did get their check over the past couple of days since I made the first video. So there is a chance that your check is still coming or that your direct deposit is still coming. So there is still hope um, for, for everybody hope is not lost okay uh, number three you change bank accounts if you change bank accounts um, the odds are that that is your problem um, from the time that you know you had your 2019 um, direct deposit change bank accounts they're gonna have that old bank account on file uh, number four is the most common so I'm gonna save that for last number five you aren't eligible because your AGI is too high, meaning you make too much money. AGI, adjusted gross income, is too high. For singles, it's about 87K or below. Head of household, 124K or below. Uh, for couples filing jointly, 150K or below to be eligible for the, the full amount. Your illegal would be another possibility if you're uh, an illegal alien, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, not knocking that by any means i'm just saying that that could be one reason why if you're here and you're uh, working and whatnot but you're you know illegal considered illegal by the government that could be a possibility you were claimed as a dependent by somebody like your parents for instance if you're a college kid or something uh, somebody has claimed you as a dependent you're not going to get your stimulus or uh, you don't have a social security number would be another possibility side note okay I wanted to let everybody know, if you don't get your check, you can file a 2020 return for free through the IRS requesting a recovery rebate credit. Even if you don't typically file taxes, this is important because I've had quite a few people that have asked me this uh, in, the, in the comments and in emails uh, saying they don't typically file a return, um, what's the deal? So there you go. They have said, the IRS has said that if you don't typically file a return, you can still, if you don't get your money direct deposit, you don't end up getting the money or getting a check, you can still file. They're gonna make the non-filer tool available again on the website, irs.gov. Uh, I'll put irs.gov's link in the description, by the way, for anybody that wants to go there that hasn't been there yet. Um, but anyway, uh, so you'll be able to still get the money. You are eligible 
if you are eligible, you will still be able to get the money. Even if you don't typically file taxes, you'll just file as a non-filer through that, that tool that they're going to make available and you'll get the recovery rebate credit. By the way, the recovery rebate credit in theory, according to what I've researched, and this is all just through my own research, um, the recovery rebate credit from what I understand is that even if you owe money to the federal government in taxes, that you're still going to get the stimulus amount. It's not going to end up taking the stimulus to cover money that you owe to the federal government. That's my understanding from my research. I could be wrong, but uh, I've read that a couple different places that even if you're going to owe on your taxes, you're still going to get this money separately if you haven't got your direct deposit or a check in the mail uh, and need to claim the recovery rebate credit. Uh, this info that I'm talking about right here came per D, uh, WFTV, which is an ABC affiliate. Link will be in the description. Um, so thanks to them for doing a lot of this research. I found some of the research on a few other uh, websites as well, but they did a pretty nice job of summing it up. So uh, back to number four. The main reason that most of you are going through this, uh, if you're like me um, and you've got the same message that I showed you um, and you already got your first stimulus check, you haven't changed anything. There doesn't seem to be any logical reason why you haven't got your second stimulus check. Okay, so this is mainly for, this is people that have used tax prep companies such as Tax Act, which is what I use, H&R Block, TurboTax, etc. And it's not of any fault of theirs. It's the government, the IRS that has done this. Uh, particularly likely the problem is if you had them subtract the filing fees they charge from your return. So when I talk to um, my company, the, the company that I use, Tax Act, what they told me on the phone that the reason that I'm in this situation, and most likely you guys too, because from what I've understood from them, it's an industry uh, problem. It's not just one company or two companies. It's the, the, the entire tax prep industry. Um, people that have had their tax, taxes prepared through these companies. So what they do is, especially um, if you get your, your fees and stuff deducted, because say um, Tax Act, for instance, whenever I did my taxes in 2019, typically uh, they will charge me a certain amount of money and I pay that up front, 2017, 2018. I've just paid that money through a, a debit card, you know, whenever it's time to file the taxes. In 2019, however, I had them just subtract it out of the return. So that's where, for me, the problem occurred because what they do is, according to what uh, Tax Act has told me today, what they do is they set up accounts, temporary accounts. So the money goes from the IRS, the government, into these temporary, account, temporary accounts that they set up at their banking partner. Money goes in there, they take out the fees, then they pass the money on to you. So uh, those accounts were only good for 2019 when you filed those taxes. Um, then those accounts all automatically got closed because they were just set up as temporary pass-through type accounts. Uh, so then they got closed and then the IRS made a mistake and they sent all this money into all these closed pass-through accounts at H&R Block and uh, TurboTax and Tax Act and all these companies. This is what I'm reading in my research and what I got from Tax Act. So uh, I'm not telling you that this is 100% what happened. I don't know, I don't work for the IRS or anything, but I'm just saying from what I'm getting in my research and what I was told from my particular company, um, that's what happened. After I made that video, I looked in my junk email and saw that I had all these emails from Tax Act. The update as of 110, which was yesterday, is basically that all of our money went into these accounts that are closed accounts. They're required by law, the banks, to send that money back to the government. So they did. Um, then the government has the money back. Now we're looking at, from what I was told uh, right here, February 1st, the IRS stated customers should begin to see payments starting February 1st. So if you if you want to read all this, you can. These are the updates that they've been sending me. So when will when will customers get their payment? The answer you're looking for, according to the government, according to IRS, uh, they're going to start sending out the correct payments to the correct bank accounts February 1st. So isn't that lovely? You get to wait uh, like three more weeks. 
it, it's fantastic. I know, frustrating, ridiculous. Uh, and Tax Act, I could tell from talking to their customer service people that they're frustrated because they know that people need the money and their customers need the money and they're going to lose customers because people are going to blame them. H&R Block, TurboTax, they're going to all get blamed and people are going to you know, lose customers because of this. So they're upset by that. They were hoping that the government would send the money back and then boom, they could just deliver it quickly and get it out. That's the latest and greatest most likely, if you find yourself watching this video and you had your taxes prepared by a tax prep company or did them yourself, and particularly if you had them deduct the, uh, the cost of having your taxes prepared from your refund, uh, especially if you're in that scenario, that is probably the reason why you haven't seen your second stimulus check. And most likely, it's going to be according to the IRS as of now, February 1st is when they plan to send those out. There's always hope. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps some of you guys. Have a great evening. If you made it this far, first of all, I just want to say I love you. You must have liked the video, so make sure you give me that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Notifications on, of course. And then click on one of my videos to the side. If the YouTube algorithm is doing its job, there should be one over there. If not, just go to my page and check it out. Thanks for watching. Peace.